Now for question number seven from um, January 2017 IALM1 paper, question about connected particles and pulleys. Okay, now two particles P and Q have masses three kilograms and m kilograms respectively. Okay, so we can see that there's going to be their weight acting vertically downwards. Okay, this has the weight mg, we don't know the mass, mg, and this has the weight 3g. The particles are connected by a light and extensible string which passes over a smooth light fixed pulley. Okay, so there's going to be a tension in the string which will be the same in both parts here because it's one light and extensible string tension is the same all the way through. The, st the system is held at rest with the string taut and it also says that m is greater than 3 meaning it's probably going to go this way when you start accelerating. When you let go of it, it's going to move downwards here, this Q. And P will move upwards, therefore. So this is going to accelerate downwards. And this is going to have the same acceleration, um, but upwards, same magnitude. Okay. Um, the system is held at rest with the string taut and the hanging parts of the string vertical. The particle Q is at a height 10 meters above the ground, 10.5 meters above the ground, shown. Um, the system is released from rest and Q moves downwards. That means P moves upwards. In the subsequent motion, P does not reach the pulley. After the system is released, the tension of the string is 33.6 newtons. Okay, so I can replace this T with 33.6. Okay, so this is 33.6 newtons, as is this. 33.6 newtons. Okay, now we can set up. Show that the magnitude of the acceleration of P... Yeah, I'll just move this down. show that the magnitude of the acceleration of P is 1.4 meters per second squared. Okay, so for P, let's consider P. And P is going to be moving upwards. Right? So we can say 33.6 minus 3G is equal to M times A, which is 3 times A. And that should give us an answer. If we uh, find what A is, A is going to be 33.6 minus 3 times G, which is 9.8. They want it they don't in terms of G, so if we use G is 9.8 over 3. And we see what that gives us. It gives us 33.6 minus 3 times 9.8 divided by 3. That gives us 7 over 5, which is 1.4. It's 1.4 meters per second squared, okay, as required in the question. Then it says find the value of m. So now we know the acceleration. Let's consider q. Okay, and q is accelerating downwards. Okay, so we know that the acceleration is 1.4 meters per second squared. Did I put squared there? Or yeah. Okay, so now for this... It's going to be moving downwards, all right? So you've got mg minus 33.6 equals ma. Okay, so you have mg minus 33.6 equals ma. m times 1.4. Okay, so we can find what? This is 9.8, 9.8 um, m minus 1.4 m equals 33.6. So 9.8 minus 1.4 is 8.4, isn't it? So you have 8.4 m equals 33.6. So now, let's make some space. We can say m is 33.6 divided by 8.4. So 33.6 divided by 8.4. That's 4. So m is equal to 4 kg. Okay, so that's the value of m. Okay, I'm going to do part C in the next video.